FM4 Reality Check. The Zero Project, it is an initiative of Austria's Isel Foundation. It focuses on the rights of people with disabilities and its aim is to create a world without barriers. It is currently holding a conference at the UN in Vienna looking at the theme of inclusive education. Judy Hooman is President Obama's special advisor for international disability rights and she's also a keynote speaker at this conference. Now Judy had polio as a child which left her in a wheelchair and she told FMV's Rosie Waits how she became involved in the disability rights movement. I'm what's called a quadriplegic so I can't walk and I can't stand. When I was five, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. My mom took me to school and so this is in the 1950s and I was denied admission into the public school. The education system sent a teacher to my house for uh, two and a half hours a week uh, until I was nine years old. And then I got into a segregated program for disabled children, which I stayed in until I was uh, in the eighth grade. So when I was about 12, I went to high school. Many of my classes were integrated classes, but there were pretty low expectations for what we were going to be able to do when we grew up. My family was very much into making sure that I was studying and they had expectations that I would in fact get a job because I'd need to be able to support myself. And you then experienced discrimination in the workplace as well. There were numerous junctures as a teacher and was denied my teaching license because I used a wheelchair and couldn't walk. And it was really around that time that I very much saw the need to work more proactively with other disabled people that were having similar experiences being discriminated because our streets weren't accessible, there weren't ramps on the streets, the buses, the trains, employment discrimination was not really illegal. And you're here in Vienna for the Zero Project Conference. What are you going to be talking about? I'm going to be talking about issues around inclusive education, talking about what I believe is important to help ensure that disabled children and adults have access to education. In many poor and middle-income countries, very large percentages of children with disabilities are not even in school. And so there's both the need to be able to get those children into um, inclusive educational settings, looking at what government's policies and practices are uh, in, in areas like teacher training, new construction of schools to be accessible, sign language interpreters, uh, ensuring that deaf students can receive appropriate education, blind students, students with intellectual disabilities, students with disabilities like dyslexia and attention deficit disorder, students with psychosocial disabilities. The Zero Project, the thoughts there of Judy Hooman. FM4 Reality Check.